Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make homemade butter in a mason jar. That's right, we're gonna make butter in a jar. I grew up in the Western United States, and one of the things that they love to celebrate is their heritage. And a large part of that heritage is the pioneers who settled the West. Now, one thing that they seemed to always do when I was a kid was make butter in mason jars, and that was somehow a really fun pioneer activity to do. And so I wanted to share with you how to do that today and share part of my childhood with you. We're gonna start with a mason jar and some heavy cream. And it doesn't matter what size of jar you use, but you wanna fill up that jar halfway with the heavy cream. Now, the higher fat content that you have for your cream, the better this will work. So make sure you read the label and compare all the heavy cream in the store and pick the one with the highest fat content. I'm gonna put on the lid and we're gonna start shaking. You wanna make sure you shake this really hard so that it slams against the top and bottom of the jar. After about two minutes of this shaking, we'll open it up and I'll show you what it looks like. After two minutes of shaking, if you take the lid off, you'll see that you have whipped cream, but that's not what we're going for here. So we're gonna put the lid back on, and then we're gonna keep on shaking for about another six minutes. Now I'm using a fairly large jar for this, but when I was a kid, they'd always give it to us in little baby food jars because it was easier for us to shake with those little tiny hands. I'm gonna keep going with this, and after six minutes, we'll check in on it again. After about six minutes, you can see that it's starting to turn a little more solid, which means we are super close to having butter. It'll take just about another 30 seconds of hard shaking. You'll hear that there's a lot more liquid in there now because we have the liquid separating out from our butter. We have buttermilk and the butter itself. Isn't that really neat? I mean, you have butter and buttermilk. Now you can strain off the buttermilk and save that and use that in a recipe later. I do have an amazing chocolate cake that buttermilk is perfect for. Then we're gonna take the solid part. I'm going to get it out. There's still some buttermilk in there. And put it into a little mixing bowl here. Finally got out there. I'm gonna pour over a little bit of cold water to rinse it off. I'm gonna use my hands to form it into a little ball. Then I'm going to discard that liquid and pour on some more cold water, shape it again, and repeat this process until the liquid left in the bowl is clear. What we're doing here is rinsing away all of the buttermilk so that we have nothing left but pure butter. And here we have our beautiful homemade butter. If you want salted butter, you'll add in a little bit of salt with the cream before shaking. You can also turn this into amazing compound butters and add herbs or honey or all sorts of different flavorings to give yourself a real gourmet treat. There's nothing quite like homemade butter and while making it in a mason jar isn't the most practical way, it sure is a fun activity. You can find the full written instructions in the video description as well as some additional tips and tricks. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.